Welcome to my video on how to mod the Sega Genesis Model 1. In this mod we're going to be installing the AV out. Um, let me show you where the connections are going to be. Actually first, um, I have the board out. If you haven't disassembled your Sega Genesis, there is a video on my channel that shows you how to do that. It's a Sega Genesis Model 1 disassemble and review. I'm going to go ahead and take it apart. If you already have it, you know, if you already have it apart, um, let's continue. I'm going to show you the connections uh, where I connected the wires for the video out. Um, I color coded it yellow so you know it's video and I got the black wire which is ground. Um, I got the ground from this pin. You can also grab the ground from these two center pieces or actually these two center pieces here. Um, I recommend it from here. Um, also the video I got it from this pin here. Um, there's going to be three pins. Make sure you connect it to this pin here. Um, and that is your video out. You could always pause this video if you get stuck anywhere. Um, sometimes I do move too fast. Um, here we go. Um, I got your your left and your right audio. Um, I color coded them too, so you got red and white, and you got yellow there for video. Um, if you flip it the other way, you're gonna have red on your right, and you're gonna have white on your left. So this is a correct way to install this like this um, solder joints in the back make sure you solder them to those pins there alright and I'm gonna go ahead and add the bottom case and connect the funnel plugs alright here are the funnel plugs I installed I use a quarter inch drill bit in order to drill the holes um, you can drill the holes however you want I decided to do it this way um, I'm going to use this one for my video and these two for my audio here right next to each other. As you can see they're all sharing a ground. So you connect the ground wire to any of these three points here. I'll show you the other side. On the other side as you can see the three. Um, really nice clean install. Let's see this is going to be my video. This is going to be my audio here. These two here. I'm going to show you a better light. I mean it's really nice clean install I like it I like how it looks and like I said their their tips are all black but you'll know where the cables go you'll know that this one's um, video and those two are audio um, you could always you know paint them do whatever you like alright um, I'll show you what I did here and as like I told you in the previous part is that I soldered all these together all the grounds together as you can see um, this wire here this one right here comes from the bottom of the board that's where I got my ground and I connected that to the very top ground here so the rest of the phono plugs have ground now and I connected my video wire this one here I connected it to this piece here on my phono plug and I got my red wire which I connected to this phono plug here and I got my white wire which I connected to the bottom funnel plug it's kinda hard to see but each one of these um, wires connects to their own funnel plug and then the grounds all share the same ground um, the grounds are connected to show you um, stand still All right. the grounds are all connected to these pieces here and um, audio and video are connected to these pieces here and that's the complete funnel plug and that's exactly how it's been installed too on the plastic um, you got the lock washer you got this piece here and then you got the nut there as well so same installed method all right we're gonna finish up by um, putting the Sega back together I went ahead and already did it um, if you don't know how to put it back together check out my tutorial on how to disassemble it and just reverse the instructions and I got the Sega all back together. So the back here. Here's the mod I did here. Um, I got my video. And then I got my two audios there. So I'm going to go ahead and connect everything. Let's see. Connect the video. And my audio there. And the left audio. 
All right, everything's connected to my DVC 100 over there. And um, also, I couldn't find a power supply, so we're going to go ahead and use my power supply there. I'm going to go ahead and connect it. And that's going to show you how much, um, how many amps this actually pulls. So it's going to go ahead and turn this on. And as you can see, um, set this to about 9 volts. Not go too high. Uh, we're going to set it right under 9 volts, just to be safe. And let's go ahead and I'm going to test out Sonic 2. Put it in there. And um, I'm going to go ahead and connect the controller to her. Alright, got it connected. Um, so let's find out if this works. Got a red light. And we got action. The other thing is that you can't hear audio because I'm using Windows um, Movie Maker. Um, but let's go ahead and let's get into the game. 